Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to make this design responsive. Now, I already have videos on how to create this design from scratch using Figma. I will leave the link in the description of this video and we also have some animations for this design. So, if you go over here to prototype and if I click on this button called present, right here we have the design and if I hover over this image, we can see that we have this animation and if I hover over this button, we have the animation for the button as well. And we also have an animation for this uh, search button over here. So if I click on the search button, we have the search field displayed over here. And now if I click on this close button, it goes back. All right now in this video, I'll show you how to make this design responsive. So let's get started. Now the first thing we will do is we'll create a responsive version for screen width of 1280 pixels. So right now if I click on this frame, and here we can see we have set this design for a width of 1440 pixels. So let's create a new frame or let's just duplicate this uh, frame. Now the first thing we need to do is decrease the frame width. So first of all, let's uh, change uh, the name and uh, let's change the name to homepage 1280. And let's go inside this frame and let's select all these elements and let's bring all of them outside. And now let's select this and uh, let's choose a different width so let's click on frame and we will select iMac which is 1280 into 720 pixels All right this is going to be the width of our frame now let's go ahead and add each of these elements inside our frame so first of all let's make some adjustments so let's select this logo and uh, let's decrease the font size to 50 pixels and uh, let's bring it to the center Right now let's select the menu items and uh, let's see what is the font size. And we have a font size of 24 pixels. So let's select all of these and uh, let's set the font size to 20 pixels. And uh, we will have a gap of 100 pixels between each of these. So let's bring this over here to the left. And let's also bring this over here to the left. And we'll also bring this icon to the left. Right now, let's select all of this and let's bring it over here to the left. And we will decrease the width of this container rectangle to 1280 pixels. And here we can see this is the search box. So we can just delete it. And uh, from the right, we need to have a gap of 120 pixels because here on the left we have a padding of 120 pixels so let's do the same over here and here I think we also have the close button so let's select that and let's just delete it right now let's have a gap of 120 pixels from the right so let's bring this over here to the right right that's basically it with the menu bar now let's drag this over here to our frame so that's basically it with the menu bar. Right now let's bring all the other elements. So first of all, let's select this BG shape and let's drag it over here to the right and let's position it correctly. So I'll just position it over here on the top right. And let's also decrease the height. And now we need to send this behind this nav bar. So we can just drag it and drop it down here. Right now the next thing we will do is we will drag all these elements over here inside our frame and uh, let's make some changes let's change the font size of this to let's try 20 pixels and we'll also change the font size of this button so let's change it to 20 and we'll also have a padding of 36 pixels from the left and the right so let's just decrease the width And from the top and the bottom, we will have a padding of 8 pixels. All right, that's it with the left section. So I'll just bring this down a little bit. And uh, let's select all of these. And uh, let's bring this down a little bit. And I think that looks all right. All right, now let's bring this image and this background rectangle. So let's select both of these. And let's bring it over here. And we need to change the height and the width of this image. So we will decrease the height and the width to let's try 
360 pixels and I will also set the height and the width of this rectangle to 360 pixels. Now let's position this correctly. And I think that looks all right. So let's select both these uh, elements and we'll just create a group. So I'll just press command G and uh, let's name it hero image. And now let's align this correctly. So from the right, we will have a gap of 120 pixels. Now here we can see we have some decimal value. That's because we have grouped this rotated rectangle over here with this image. So I'll just select this image. And uh, from the right, we will have a gap of 120 pixels. And now let's select this uh, background and let's just bring it over here. And let's select both of these and uh, let's just align it correctly. We'll also have a gap of 120 pixels from the left. So let's select all of these and uh, let's move it to the right. All right, that's it with the 1280 version. Now let's create the smartphone version. So let's click on frame and let's click over here. And uh, let's go over here to frame and uh, let's select one of these uh, templates from here. Let's just select iPhone 11 Pro and let's change the name to smartphone. Right, the first thing we need to do is change the background color so let's click on this uh, fill and let's choose this color right here right now let's duplicate this menu bar and bring it down here and here we'll make some changes and add it to the smartphone version so the first thing we will do is we'll just remove these menu items and we will set the width of this to the same as this frame so let's select this frame and we have a width of 375 pixels so let's select this rectangle and uh, let's set the width to 375 and now let's decrease the font size of this logo so let's select this and let's set the font size to let's try 24 pixels and we'll also decrease the height of this uh, mini bar so let's select this rectangle and let's set the height to 48 pixels now let's bring this logo to the left and uh, from the left we will have a gap of 30 pixels and here on the right side, we will have a menu icon. So let's select this rectangle and let's create a menu icon. So I'll just create a rectangle over here and let's set the width to, let's try 24 pixels and let's leave the height as four pixels. And we'll also add a corner radius of four and let's change the color of this to this dark color right here. And now let's duplicate this and uh, we will have a gap of, let's try six pixels. And I think that looks all right. So let's select both of these and uh, let's make it a group. And let's change the name to menu icon. Now we'll also add a padding around this menu icon. So for that, let's add an auto layout. So you can just press shift and A. And now we have this auto layout and uh, let's change the padding over here. Let's change it to, let's try four pixels and four pixels. And I think that looks all right. Right, let's bring it to the center and from the right we will have a padding of 30 pixels so let's bring it to the left now this menu item is outside this navigation group so let's drag it and bring it over here right now let's add this inside our frame so let's just drag it over here to the top and now the next thing we will do is bring this image so let's drag it outside and we'll just remove the background element. So let's delete this. And uh, we just decrease the size and let's drag it over here. And from the left and the right, we will have a gap of 30 pixels. So let's increase it. And that looks all right. Now let's draw a background shape for this smartphone version. So let's go over here to this pen tool and let's create a simple shape. All right, so this is a simple shape that I drew and uh, let's select this and let's remove the stroke and we will add a fill and let's set the color to this color right here and we'll set the opacity to let's try 25 and I think that looks all right. Now let's bring the other elements. So let's copy these three elements from here. Let's duplicate it and bring it down here and we will change the font size. So for this, we'll change the font size to, let's try 40 pixels. And I think that looks all right. 
let's change the font size of this to 16 pixels we'll also change the font size of this button and let's change it to 16 pixels and let's decrease the width and the height of this we will have a padding of 30 pixels on the left and the right right let's bring it to the top and I think we can decrease the line height a little bit I think this looks all right right now let's select all of this and drag it over here inside this frame and from the left we will have a gap of 30 pixels and then lastly we need to copy these uh, icons so let's drag it over here and we'll just decrease the size so let's decrease it to let's try 30 pixels and we'll also decrease this to let's try 24 and let's decrease this to 24 as well and let's just bring this over here to the left and we'll do the same for this logo now let's select all of these and uh, let's bring it over here inside this frame and from the right we will have a gap of 30 pixels and now let's select all of these and uh, let's bring it to the center so let's click on align vertical centers and we'll also click on this button and let's click on tidy up so now everything looks all right so that's basically it with the smartphone version now in the next video i'll show you how to add the menu items for the mobile version so we will add an animation and when we click on this menu icon we want the mobile menu items to be displayed over here and we'll also have a close icon and when we click on the close icon the menu icons will be hidden so we will do that in the next video right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank you.